Today, we got some exciting news about the Galaxy S25 series and an upcoming software feature that might also make its way to the Galaxy S24 series. The Galaxy S25 series is introducing a cool new software feature for the rear cameras, the ability to record videos in a logarithmic LOG profile. For those who don't know, LOG video recording gives you a flat color palette, which makes it easier to edit colors and styles in post-production, and it offers a higher dynamic range compared to standard videos. This is going to be great for professional content creators. Now here's the twist. While this feature is expected to be exclusive to the Galaxy S25 series at launch, there's a chance that Samsung will bring it to the Galaxy S24 series with a software update. Tipster Taran Vats shared some interesting info, revealing that LOG video recording could be available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra with the upcoming Android 15-based One UI 7.0 update, likely the stable version, since the current beta doesn't include it. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus might get this feature with the Android 16-based One UI 8.0 update. If you're a content creator, LOG video recording might sound familiar. It's famous for offering a flat color profile that allows you to manipulate the colors and style during editing, plus it provides a wider dynamic range. All of this makes it a dream for anyone serious about video production. Now here's the catch. Olog video recording requires powerful hardware to handle all that processing, so many weren't expecting Samsung to bring it to older devices, but it looks like it could be possible for the S24 series, though it might not extend to earlier models. That said, take this news with a pinch of caution, as One UI 8.0 is still in the early stages of development, and Samsung might change its plans. There's a chance this feature may not make it to older models depending on what Samsung decides during the development process. What do you think about this potential update for the Galaxy S24 series? Are you excited about the possibility of LLG video recording? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Today we got some new One UI 7.0 features, and there's one update in particular that parents will want to know about. Based on Android 15, One UI 7.0 is packed with new additions, but one of the standout features is the expanded parental controls. Michel Rahman, a well-known leaker, pointed out this feature in a recent report on Android Authority. One UI 7.0 brings a content restrictions option for parents to help better manage their kids' device usage. If you're using a Galaxy S25 running One UI 7.0, this option can be found under settings greater than digital well-being and parental controls. This wasn't available in One UI 6, Android 14 and it's a much-needed feature for those who want more control over their kids' device usage. Here's what it includes. Web Content Restrictions. This new feature allows you to block explicit websites in the Samsung Internet Browser. It filters out sites with sexually explicit or violent content, giving parents a bit of peace of mind when their children are browsing the web. Samsung does mention that no filter is perfect, but they're still trying to block as much harmful content as possible. App and Game Age Ratings. This allows you to set a maximum age rating for apps and games in the Galaxy Store. This means you can stop your kids from downloading apps that are rated above their age. The five options available are, based on age in Samsung account, all ages 12 plus, 16 plus, 18 plus. The based on age in Samsung account setting automatically adjusts the rating based on the age linked to the Samsung account, which is super convenient for parents. These features will definitely give parents more control and peace of mind when it comes to protecting their kids while still letting them enjoy their Galaxy devices. While One UI 7.0 is still rolling out and hasn't hit all eligible devices yet, these parental control enhancements will be available as soon as the update is live. So what do you think about these new parental controls in One UI 7.0? Will you be using them? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 